Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson of the Real Russian Club. Today we're going to talk about possessive pronouns in the Russian language. Let's begin! Well, first, what does it even mean, possessive pronouns? Here comes the question whose. Super simple. It's when something belongs to you or you possess something. For example, this is my shirt and this is your teacher. This whiteboard is mine. So you got the idea, I hope. So whose, my, your, his, her, its, all that stuff. But you already know that in the Russian language everything is more complicated. And let's revise our genders. Do you remember them? Masculine, feminine and neuter. Uh, if you don't remember, go back to the lesson where I talked about this stuff. And uh, just for quick revision, everything that ends with a consonant or with a soft sign is masculine. Everything that ends with a, ya is feminine and soft sign here too. And neuter is the rest. O, ye, u, you, all that stuff. So revise genders before going on. This question in Russian is going to take different forms, right? For example, masculine would be, what's going on here? Would be chey, chey. Feminine would be chia, chia, chia. And neuter would be chio, chio. Mm -hmm. And it seems that it's uh, another difficult thing to remember, but actually no. If you look at the ending, you see that still Y goes to masculine, Ya goes to feminine, just like in normal nouns, and Yo goes to neuter. So it's just the same uh, as uh, we had with those endings uh, of the nouns. And actually, we already started to speak about plural form, like они, they, мы, we. So, we have a question for them. Чьи? Oop. Чьи. Again, whose? Чьи. Чьи. So, I hope you wrote it down, because now I'm going to remove it and we are going a little bit deeper. Okay, now let's get to our personal pronouns. I hope you remember them. I mean, I, you, they, he, she. If not, go back. Ya, I, the. Please write it down with me because I'm gonna uh, make a little table here. On, he, ana, she, anu. It. Ani. This time I remember. This time I remember everything. Ani. They. Me. We. And we. You. You as many people and you as a respectful form of you. So let's check again. Я, ты, он, она, оно, они, мы, вы. I hope you remember this stuff. So let's get rid of this because here I want to write something else. It's going to be a little table and I want you to draw it in your notebook or what, what are you using there. So. Again, let's get back to our uh, genders, genders. So, masculine is going to be here. Masculine, feminine, neuter, right? So, ya, yeah, my, my is moi, moi, 
when it comes to masculine. For example, my house, мой дом. Let me write an example. Мой дом. Мой дом. My home, my house. Мой дом. Or my computer, мой computer. So every time you see a noun which is masculine, you use мой, мой. Again, it's even easy to remember because y is in the ending. Мой дом. Remember that we talked about gender. It's y. It means that it's masculine. Ты, you. So your is твой. 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 Again, it's not that difficult to remember because you see y again. So obviously it's masculine. And ты, твой. Ты, ты, ты. So kind of easier. Easier than it could be. Твой. Same here. Твой дом. Your house. Or твой компьютер. Uh, we'll practice with examples a little later. Now I want you just to fill this table. Он masculine is interesting. Е во. Е во. And now I know what you're thinking. Why on earth is she pronouncing it as v? Yevo, right? And it's uh, one of the strangest or the most strange, how should I say, rules of Russian pronunciation. In this word, ye go, and when you see something like that in the ending, and you will meet this ending uh, in adjectives in genitive, uh, you just pronounce it as vo. Vo. It dates back to ancient Russian, to the old days of the Russian language, and actually other Slavic languages, they still have pronunciation with g or different modifications of g. But Russian changed over time, and for some reason we have one thing in writing, but different thing in speaking. So just remember that this one is Yevo, yevo. Okay, somewhere near, write the pronunciation because if you say yego, it would be very funny. So yevo. Okay. Oop, 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 oop. Write it down. Yevo. This one is more difficult to remember, right? But I hope you manage. Anna, her is. Ye yo, ye yo, ye yo, ye yo. Okay, for example, ye yo dom, her house, or ye yo, I don't know, computer again, computer, or what, what, what else? Ye yo microphone, her microphone. So anything. Ano. It again, его, его, во. Remember, его. Easy, right? S same here, его. Они again, a little bit tricky. Их, их, их. Their house, их дом. I hope you're writing this down with examples. Их дом. Их дом. Their, their house. Okay. Their house. Их дом. Их дом. So, <laughs> мы, we. Our home would be наш, 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 наш дом. Repeat after me. 
наш дом, наш компьютер, наш. And вы is almost the same. Ваш, ваш, ваш дом. Or ваш учитель, your teacher, ваш учитель, ваш. So this is for masculine. I hope you wrote it down because we are moving to the feminine part. And the first form is my. When it's a feminine word, let's practice with the word book, книга. My book would be моя книга. Моя книга. Pay attention to your pronunciation. Don't forget about the vowel reduction. Ma, 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 not моя. Моя, моя. I remind you because many people keep forgetting this stuff. And it's just daily practice until you get it automated. It's not gonna work. So always repeat and practice as much as possible. So моя. Моя. For example, my book. Моя книга. Книга. Right? My book. Моя книга. Again, easy to remember because я is in the ending. Just like in any noun that is feminine. So when it comes to you, ты, твоя, your book, твоя, let me make a little line here, твоя, again you hear how I'm reducing this о, твоя, а, 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 твоя, твоя, your book, твоя книга, again Almost, to, it's it's just just the same. Я goes to feminine, super easy, right? Твой, твоя. Here, the perfect situation for you, lovely Russian language learners. It's just the same. Doesn't matter if it's feminine, if it's neuter, if it's masculine. These guys, no, no not these guys. These three guys go the same. Его книга. Just remember that it's в. Его. Его книга. Его книга. Or maybe his uh, girlfriend. Его подруга. Его девушка. So it doesn't change. Его. <coughs> same with the word. Ее Ее, ее книга, ее подруга, ее работа, anything. And оно is его. For example, the sun and its rays, maybe. Солнце и его лучи, rays, its rays, его, их days их 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 книга их подруга их лаборатория I don't know so it's still их these four said three before no actually these four stay the same and uh, наш goes наша Наша. Again, it's not that difficult to remember because it's all feminine. Remember, а, я. Here the same rule. Наш. Наш masculine. Наша. Наша, right? Наша. Actual. Наша. But still, a in the ending. Наша книга. Our book. Our work, наша работа. Вы, guess what? Ваша, of course, ваша. 
Mm -hmm. Remember that a, a, ya, ya, feminine. Uh, ваша, your, your book, ваша книга, your work, ваша работа. Okay, we're done with feminine stuff. We're going to the neuter part. Neuter. Мой, моя, моё. Моё. Again, you hear this о turns to моё. 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 And again, look at the ending. It doesn't look like masculine. doesn't look like feminine. Yo in the ending, of course it's neuter. So my yo. Um going to you Tvayo Tvayo Again you see Tvoy Tvaya Tvayo So the main principle, the main idea is still the same. Just a little change, but the general part stays the same. So, твоё, what, what, let's stay with, uh, I don't know, sun, sun like sun, star, моё солнце, my sun. For example, actually, it's a very uh, lovely way to say to your, I don't know, to address your sweetheart, моё солнце, you are my sun. And actually, it's very common in the Russian language to call your spouse, моё солнце, it's Happens all the time. So, моё солнце, or let me write it down. Моё солнце, солнце, it's sun. Actually, I chose such a bad word because this is another consonant that we don't pronounce. Actually, it sounds more like солнце, солнце, солнце. But even if you try to put L there, солнце, nobody will notice, so just, just, yeah, I'll leave it here. Солнце, моё солнце, same with your son, твоё солнце, okay? And again, these, wait a second, have you written it down? I hope so. Uh, these four, Again, they stay the same, so you only have to learn them once. Yevo Sonse his son Ye Yo Again Yevo and Ich let's not waste our time. Uh Ich Sonse Na She then Na she. And again, it's easy to remember because remember neuter uh, nouns end with o or ye. So here we have ye in the ending. So na she. And uh, your means va she. Va she. Va she. Nashe. For example, our sun, Nashe Sunse, or our sea, Nashe Mori. Let me write it down somewhere. Nashe Mori. Mori. Oh, I miss the sea so much, so much. Nashe Mori, our sea. So, I hope you copied, Ugh, so not comfortable. So, I hope you copied this to your uh, notebook, because now I want to uh, find some space to talk about plural, plural, okay? so. Pause the video, write everything down, and I'm getting rid of this. So, plural. Plural. And I know that we haven't talked about plural yet. Actually, I wanted to do it today, but then I changed my mind. 
But for now, let's just take one word because I love this word for some reason. It's so tricky. Uh, it's the word scissors. In Russian is nож ni tsi. Nožnici. Crazy word, right? So I hope you practice with it. Nožnici. Nožnici. Scissors. Oh, big mistake. Starting. <laughs> Trying to. Okay. Scissors. So, nožnici. Plural. So let's talk about how it sounds in Russian. My scissors would be my nožnici. My nožnici. Guess what's you? Your scissors. Tvai, of course. Tvai, i, 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 i. Tvai, my. So again, my nožnici. Он, она, оно, они, just the same, yes. Его ножницы, ее ножницы, их ножницы, right? Oh, его missed the it part. Его ножницы, их ножницы, and uh, our would be наши и here and ваши. Uh, don't dwell too much on the fact that it's kind of unfamiliar to you. Don't you? You shouldn't care about this too much now. I guess uh, for the first time we should care about мой, твой. I mean, my, your, her, that stuff. Here, maybe later maybe later so but practice anyway N never too much practice мои ножницы твои don't confuse it with uh, stress right stress with y it's not the same okay so it's мои твои его ее их наши ваши and practice with this tricky word, nožnici. And now I'm starting to feel those vibes of anxiety. Yes, like this seems a little bit too tricky, a little bit too difficult. How would I remember all those forms? It's very difficult. Yes, yes, it is. And no easy way here. Only practice, practice, and practice. Writing down with hundreds of words and pronouncing it as many times as possible and making questions and answers. And then, boom, one day you'll just remember them. But for now, just to cheer you up a little bit, I'll give you some good news. As usual, I like to give good news about stuff. So, in English, you know there are two forms. Uh, my something, for example, my book and the book is mine. So, mine, my. And uh, for each pronoun, it's different, all tricky. But finally, finally, we've come to the situation when Russian is easier than English. Yes, yes, these situations exist. So in Russian, it will still be the same. Everything we wrote in that table will work in both ways. For example, моя книга. Моя книга. Книга. Моя книга, my book, and the book is mine, would be the same. Книга моя, right? It's so cool that it's so easy. Книга моя. Same with all other words. So, just 
what you have in that table will work in both situations. So finally something easy. And now the most important part – practice. I'm gonna give you words, different words, and we're gonna put them with the possessive pronouns here, okay? So let's start with the word stall. Stall, meaning the table. I hope you remember. A table. Stall. So what's the gender? Yes, the ending is a consonant L, so it's masculine. Look at your table now, and actually a good thing would be if you don't want to waste space in your uh, learning notebook, study notebook, just get some different piece of paper and write everything down there. After that you'll just throw it away. So it's just for practice. Stall. So my table would be мой стол. Мой стол. Okay? Your table will be твой стол. Твой стол. His table его стол. Его стол. Her table – ее стол. Ее стол. And actually, yes, write it down every time. Стол, стол, стол. Trust me, it helps. Его стол. Стол. Mm -hmm. Их стол. Стол. Наш стол. Наш стол. Ваш стол. Your table. Right now, I want you to pause the video, go back to your older materials, find all the words in masculine gender and do the same thing with them. Not just Oh, this is masculine, so it's this, this, and this. No, I want you to sit down and write it. And stop looking at the grammar table that we wrote. Start to do it from your head. Start to learn them. Yeah. And write, write, and write. So pause the video and practice with other masculine words. Now let's practice with the word жена. Oop. Жена. Жена means a wife. So my wife is моя жена. Remember the vowel reduction. It's not жена. It's жена. Ы, 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 ы. Something between E and U. E, жена, жена, жена. So my wife, моя жена, жена. Your wife, твоя жена, твоя жена, жена. Mm -hmm. His wife, его жена. Его жена. Его жена. Ее жена. Her wife. It's not possible in Russia. Жена. Uh, her wife. Uh, its wife. I don't know. Uh, его жена. Okay. Его жена. And uh, их жена. Maybe they have, uh, I don't know, one wife and several husbands. Why not? Их жена. Их жена. Our wife, maybe. 
again three husbands and uh, one wife Nasha Jena Jena and your wife Vasha Jena Vasha Jena Mm -hmm. Now again, the same exercise. Pause the video, find all the feminine words you can and practice with them. Write them down, say them out loud. Mm -hmm. And for neuter, let's take the word, oh, again, mirror, зеркало, зеркало, зеркало. Again, pronunciation. Зеркало, ла, ла, ла. It's not зеркало. Зеркало, зеркало, ла. Okay, so it's a mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. So, моё зеркало. My mirror. Моё зеркало. Зеркало. Your mirror. Твоё зеркало. Твоё зеркало. Твоё зеркало. And here again. Его. Ее. Его. Их. Same. Doesn't matter what gender it is. Его, ее, их. Наше зеркало. Our mirror. Наше зеркало. I repeat after me. Наше зеркало. Наше зеркало. As, a, as if it's a one word. Наше зеркало. Наше зеркало. And same here. Ваше. Ваше. Ваше зеркало. Зеркало. Ваше зеркало. Your mirror. And again, guess what? Find all the words uh, we mentioned in the previous lessons. Uh, that are neuter and practice with them. And now a little tip on how to remember it easily. Well, not easily, but easier at least. Oh, practice. The best way is to put these words into context. Because if you learn them separately, just with uh, моя книга, мой дом, мой друг. It's not gonna work. I always encourage you, use your imagination and then the information will go much deeper in your brain. So let's make up some dialogues, some little stories. For example, let's make a story about my favorite ever uh, again, that was a mistake, actually. It was supposed to be a Darth Vader, okay? It's Darth, Darth Vader, okay. I'll, I'll just get rid of it. So, Darth Vader, okay? Have you imagined him? If you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I bring this stuff up all the, all the time. So, let's ask... Who is it? Or maybe who is this? Кто это? Кто это? And then you answer, it's Darth Vader. Это Darth Vader. Это Darth Vader. Vader. Oh, I'm so slow today. Vader. Это... This is K. Кто это? Who is it? Do you need the translation? I hope you don't, because we've been doing it for a while now. Кто это? Who is it? Это Дарт Вейдер. And then you ask, who is he? 
Кто он? Кто он? So the difference is that uh, you're seeing someone, you don't know who it is, and you ask who is this? In general, you don't know at all. So they say it's Darth Vader. And now you want to know who Darth Vader is. Кто он? Кто это? И кто он? Who is he? Кто он? And then you can ask, he is my father. No. Он мой. Here comes the possessive pronoun for the first time. Он мой. Let's say папа. Папа. And actually, in the Russian translation of the movie, they use the word отец. It's a more formal way of saying. It's something like father, отец, and dad, папа. Father, dad. Отец, папа. So here, отец is more appropriate. Он мой отец, right? Он мой папа. This word and this word, they are both masculine because it's a male person, right? Мой, because this is masculine. Мой, он мой папа. He is my dad. So obviously it's Luke speaking here. So он мой папа. Then you may ask, you we already know some verbs, so we can say what is he doing? Что он делает? Что он делает? Делает. If you forgot the verbs, go to the previous lesson and learn everything about those endings. Что он делает? What is he doing? And we say, he works. Он работает. Он работает. Он работает. Let's say he's a Jedi. Well, he's not, but I just like the word. Who cares? He used to be a Jedi. So он джедай. This is his job. Nine to five job. Он джедай. By the way, pay attention to the stress here. Джедай. It's not Jedi like in English. It's джедай. So one more time. Repeat after me. Кто это? Это Дарт Вейдер. Кто он? Он мой отец. Что он делает? Он работает. Он джедай. Great! And now I want you to make as many dialogues about as many male characters uh, that you can remember. For example, take, I don't know who, Batman. Batman and say that Batman is your friend. Let me write it down. For example, Batman and here you put instead of dad, you put the word друг, a friend. For example, this is Batman, he's my friend. Then use any verb from the previous lesson. Maybe he walks, on гуляет, or he is sick, on болеет. So again, pause the video and practice, practice and practice. Now let's pick some female character. For example, woohoo, I don't know, it's... Uh, <laughs> Queen, Queen Elizabeth, okay, Королева Елизавета, oops, almost dropped it. 
So, королева Елизавета. Let's write it down. But starting with a question. Again, кто это? Who is it? Кто это? Это королева Елизавета. Это королева. Королева. Again, I'm never getting tired of saying about it. Vowel reduction. Королева. Not королева. Open your mouth. Королева. Королева Елизавета. This is how you say the name Elizabeth in Russian. Елизавета. Это королева Елизавета. Then, who is she? Кто она? Кто она? Она моя hmm. подруга. My friend, my girlfriend. Подруга. Not girlfriend like girlfriend, but just a friend, but a girl. Yeah, in the same time. So, она... Она моя, моя, май, моя подруга, подруга, подруга. Again, подруга, а, 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 подруга. Она моя подруга. And then you may pretend as if you don't hear and you can ask, is she your friend? Are my ears deceiving me? Is Queen Elizabeth your friend? Let's write it down. Она твоя, your. Она твоя подруга. Подруга. Is she your friend? Она твоя подруга? And you say, yep. Да. 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 Then, again, what does she do? Что она делает? Что она делает? What is she doing? Делает. And maybe she's somewhere, I don't know, in the park, going for a walk. So you can say, она гуляет. So like that, we revise, review, how do we say it? So we just remember and practice uh, это, this is, who, who is it? Anna, Anno, or all that stuff. You see, possessive pronouns, personal pronouns, verbs, questions. We combine it all in a dialogue, or you can make a short story of it. And like that, it connects all together in one story and goes deep and easy to your memory. So again, pick any characters and uh, I don't know, as many as you can. It helps a lot. Okay, and now homework. I'm not gonna torture you any longer today, so just homework. Uh, as I already said, practice all those possessive pronouns. Use everything you can to master them. Remember, as many Stories, dialogues, stories. Use your favorite characters. Use your uh, family members as characters and add new details. Combine everything you've already learned. And the most important part, read and say them out loud. Okay, it's, it's so important that you not just write and read, you should speak. Trust me, start speaking, even if it's just these short parts. 
and we continue the, what's going on with this thing today we continue practicing our verbs so i add the verb prigat to you prigat means to jump that would be quite a story about <laughs> jumping queen elizabeth so try try it prigat prigat biegat to run biegat run oh uh, what what else obnimat obnimat to hug obnimat hug and uh, yeah i guess that that's enough be a good stress goes here so go back to the verbs conjugation and practice with these verbs add these verbs to your new stories with possessive pronouns so once again combine everything together and practice 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 name the objects around you now you can not only say that this is a book or this is pizza now you can say this is my pizza or you can imagine that you're angry and hitting someone by the hand no it's my pizza again use your imagination be silly you should have fun as long as you i don't know stop having fun with learning russian it's gonna be just boring and frustrating i hope you enjoy the process and we're so serious all, all the time, so isn't it the time to become a little bit more, I don't know, ridiculous and silly and foolish? It's great, great. Also, I want you to, uh, I want to invite you to my Instagram. Real Russian, guess what, club. Real Russian club. Do you remember their sign? I don't remember. So it, it's my Instagram. Uh, I'll be happy if you join me. I'll leave a link uh, below this video. And uh, yeah, I'm happy always to talk in direct messages and share different videos of Russia and making live uh, events there, just speaking to uh, my subscribers. So again, Real Russian Club, I'll be super happy to see you there. And I guess that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, press, not like here, we don't have like, so you press thumbs up. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Thumb up to this video. And um, yeah, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.